Okie dokie. Hello everybody and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 and uh, today I am making a Universe Sandbox video because Alpha 19 has officially come out now in Universe Sandbox 2 and you can do all of pretty much the same stuff that I've done in the last couple not not the VR video of a uh, Universe Sandbox I did but the past two normal Universe Sandbox videos <clears throat> I never really tested out the uh, su new supernovas because uh, I was told that there are new supernovas but that's just one of those things I just I didn't know about at the time when I recorded it and I just never got around to recording it but now we're going to check out the new supernovas in the official officially 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 official Alpha 90 okay so one thing about the the supernova is that like they it's the new supernova animations or new I don't know that I don't really actually really know what they look like They're just new supernovas and they actually destroy planets and instead of just like making them fling off to the solar system It'll actually destroy them. So let's just try and you know invoke one of these Supernovas let's launch Jupiter at the Sun. Maybe we can try and get invoke our do an invoked supernova It's a very dangerous science experiment and fire very very slowly Okay, it's gonna end up happening really fast. Slow it down, slow it down. Okay, okay, we're at seven minutes per second. That is seven minutes per second and Jupiter's traveling that fast. That's actually pretty amazing. <gasps> and... Oh my god, it's blue. Okay. The sun just turned blue. Did that act- was that actually not enough to trigger a supernova? Let's maybe speed it up a little bit. We're only at 17 seconds. <gasps> oh! My natural reaction, my natural reaction when the sun is just inflating like a balloon. I'm like, no, please don't. You're going to explode. Please. 50 seconds per second. Is this thing expanding at all at any rate at one minute per second? I'm not noticeably. Two minutes per second. Nothing. Oh, my, oh, I thought that was like part of like the explosion or something, but it was just part of the galaxy. God damn it, that would have been cool. It's like it's tearing apart. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at all. And that is a beautiful thing. That is a very beautiful thing when you get results you don't expect it because that means it can lead to further experiments and further experiments. I want to see. I want to see what this looks like from the surface of the Earth. It's gonna look bad. It's gonna look fabulous. Okay, all right. And it's daytime. All right, where's? <laughs> Slow it down. Okay. Look at that beautiful sun. I wish it would actually like show within the atmosphere when you're on the surface. Maybe if I get low enough? No, I, like I wish it was like it would show the sky blue and maybe it would just show like everything is just incredibly bright. Is that affecting since <laughs> since we have crashed Jupiter into the sun and we have made a super inflated blue sun. It's now officially blue hot. <laughs> The surface temperature of the Earth is at 39 degrees Celsius. Let's see if this officially wipes out all life on Earth. We don't know if the sun is going to be like extremely unstable. Note to scientists out there, don't crash Jupiter into the sun because it will not be good results uh, for our planet. Environmentalists will not like you, but maybe, actually maybe, we have to check on Mars because Mars is actually, Mars is also hot. Mars' surface, surface temperature is 106 Celsius, 105 Celsius, uh, let's see here. What other potential habitable planets? Saturn? Or any of your moons orbiting you? Uh, I don't think it has any of Saturn's moons, unfortunately. Like, what if we had Titan? Maybe Titan would be at the perfect temperature if you take Jupiter and you, th <laughs> and you throw it into the sun. This is very interesting. What's going on here? What are we doing here? What's going on? Well, the Earth is, uh... The Earth is veering off course and is now officially the second planet in the solar system <laughs> what on earth venus is wow venus is 1400 celsius earth is at 500 celsius earth is officially a comet what the hell is going on we're just getting closer and closer to the sun maybe the sun's getting bigger maybe it's getting more massive everything has suddenly gone more eccentric i guess technically when you throw jupiter into the sun it will get more massive but it seems like it's gotten uh it's 1.81 suns Okay, um, there's some physics fouls here I am noticing. I don't know how suddenly this has gotten a lot more massive, but I'm pretty sure Jupiter is like 1,500 1, the mass of the sun, and now it's saying the mass is 1.81 suns. I don't, I don't, I don't know like what happens in fusion reactions, but something tells me I don't, I don't know where the matter comes from. Is it like energy getting converted into matter or something? Like, can something just get more massive? I, I feel like it's violating that energy cannot be created nor destroyed thing, but I, I don't know. I don't know fusion. I, I don't know how sudden, suddenly something will just get more massive than just throwing Jupiter into the sun. Okay. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting too distracted. I'm getting too distracted analyzing 
And now we got to launch another planet. Let's, let's be a little bit more modest with this one. That was a huge reaction to the sun. Now we need to throw just Earth. Let's just throw Earth at the sun. Oh boy. Oh, now it's starting to burn up. Will you make it? Maybe it'll just like be like a comet and burn into the in the thick atmosphere. <laughs> let's let's take a look at that mass right there. It's at it's already at three times ten to the eighteen kilograms. You can do it, little buddy. You can do it. You can make it to the surface of the sun. I didn't even know this could be an issue. My God, it's like we're like surgeons and we're just gonna make a quick incision, very delicately. We don't want to make the zit explode, but we do. <laughs> Get what I mean? <laughs> still going inside it. Oh. Okay, now it's still a Sun Nova remnant, and it seems like it only absorbed the Earth, but I don't know. Maybe we gotta speed it up a little bit and something will happen. I gotta egg it on just a little bit more. Okay, egg it on just a little bit more. We're gonna shoot Uranus at, <laughs> at the Sun. Come on, you, gotta have, like, you have to have the one Uranus joke per episode. Okay, this side seems like it was beaten up a little bit too much. You already see that remnant impact from Jupiter. So let's attack the other side. Uranus, from the rear! <laughs> Go, just do your thing, Uranus. So I'm gonna be very disappointed if this doesn't do anything. Come on! We're launching Uranus into the sun! This has to do something! Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! There it goes. BOOM! No boom! No boom! Bombard the sun with so many Jupiters, we're gonna give it an offer it cannot refuse. This is the ultimate offer for creating a supernova. Here we go, it all comes down to this. Here is the big one. The big boom. It's gonna happen, it has to happen here. Let's insert that Joker gif. And here we go. Look at that, it's like the amount of trails we have here. It's just like, it's just, it's just like painting a picture of an explosion happening. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe this thing is surviving. After crashing this many Jupiters into it. Mercury is about to- I think Mercury on the, at this point is on a collision course with the sun. Here we go, let's just watch Mercury go inside here. We did this! We put Mercury on a collision course with the sun! Goodbye, we have managed to destroy one of our planets, starting from its normal orbit. Oh, oh, all the planets are going into. It's just sucking up the entire solar system. Okay, okay. Mars has got an insanely eccentric orbit. Ceres is officially a comet. That looks cool! Holy shit! Seriously, Ceres? That's awesome! Alright, if this doesn't supernova properly, I don't know what will. A sun going into a sun. The sun going into its much more heavier self. The sun really let itself go. It destroyed its entire solar system. It's kind of disappointing as I've, I've kind of destroyed the rest of the solar system as a result, and I kind of wanted to see the Earth get destroyed by by the supernova. And now, now I, just, I guess we'll have to settle with some Pluto. We'll have to watch Pluto get destroyed by the supernova instead. Oh god. It's- Oh! Oh! Oh, slow that shit down! Okay, why did that explode, but not the actual sun? Why can I not pop this thing? Now it just looks like this thing made a gigantic fart. Look at that. We made a ghastly. <laughs> well, it's still not done yet. It's still not done. It's still expanding out. But that looks awesome. That looks pretty awesome. I mean, it just kind of it looks pretty red. But now, let's observe Mars. The Martians. We f Elon Musk finally colonized Mars, and now, now we got this shit happening. Let's go on the surface of Mars. Elon Musk finally has a civilization. It's like, yes, we did it. Oh wait, ah oh, shit. And then civilization is wiped out on Mars. <laughs> Poor Elon Musk. That is terrifying. Just imagine the sun going in supernova. I'm assuming the supernova is it's, it's gonna just travel. Oh my god. Is it happening? Anyways, I'm assuming it's just gonna travel at pretty much the speed of light. Pretty close to the speed of light. So Earth for Earth, I think it takes about eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to the Earth. That rushing at us, just getting ever so slowly bigger and bigger. All that radiation just approaching us. That's terrifying because it's not even like, you know, okay, it's just a big explosion and you die instantly and uh, you, you wouldn't even know what hit you. You got eight minutes to witness that approaching you. 
That is, that's probably like worse than falling. Like, you know, you jump, you, you fall off a cliff and it's like, oh crap, and you're just probably the most terrifying experience of your life. That is eight minutes of torture just rushing towards you and there's nothing you can do unless we quickly fly out of the solar system. I don't know, maybe by the time we colonize Mars, we'll have faster than light speed rockets and we can just be like, yeah, fuck this place. Let's go to wherever the next planet is in the, in the galaxy that we can inhabit. The first wave of radiation is gonna touch down on Mars. It's like we're getting invaded by aliens, except we're getting invaded by the aliens first. Is that Ceres seriously right there? Are we having that close of an encounter with Ceres? That I can actually see it from Mars? Oh my god. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh, the apocalypse! Poor Mars! Oh, it's turning into a comet! Oh, Jesus, the scale of this is ridiculous. The sun is like 99 point something 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 percent of all the mass in the entire solar system. And that's just spreading. It's just spreading out through from the center outwards. So I'm assuming that can spread pretty far and still be a lot of mass. Like, does that affect like the gravitational pull? Like, is, like as the supernova gets further and further away from Mars, assuming it's not completely disintegrated. It looks like it's disintegrating pretty rapidly. Maybe Pluto, maybe Pluto will have a, a, like a glimmer of hope. Just a glimmer of hope that maybe for just part of the time, just part of the time, Pluto will be habitable. But no, look at that. It's probably like a nice bright and sunny day now on Pluto at least, right? Oh my god, okay. Now Pluto is like getting attracted to the supernova, I think. This reminds me of an experiment we totally didn't do that long ago. Pluto flying towards the sun and disintegrating. Totally haven't done that before. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's see how far this thing can expand out. I bet this thing hasn't even scratched the surface as to how far it, expand. it can expand. We've officially... Holy shit, did we just launch some stuff outside of the, the solar system? I don't know where all these trails are. Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, we've officially reached pretty much like the edge of the solar system in terms of radius for the supernova. Now, let's just... It's only been... We're doing going at one day a second. Let's just speed it up even more. Just so you can get a sense of the scale of this thing. Mm hmm. Uh huh. It's like we just keep forever zooming in on Photoshop. It just, except it just doesn't ever stop zooming. It just keeps going. 69 years per second. Okay, now 200 years per second. 1,000 years per second. 3,000 years per second. Oh. And then it fizzles out. Okay. There we go. And now it's just a sun nova remnant. And is everything still alive? What has survived in our solar system? Do we have anything? Any remnant of a planet? Just give me a name. Jupiter actually managed to leave. <laughs> and there- oh, and there's our sun over of it, and there's- there's Saturn. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and that is the heat death of our universe. Oh, okay. All right, all right, we get the ultimate laser pointers in the universe. How, who should we strike first? Who do we hate the most? Chinese? No. <laughs>